Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my post-completion review of this massive diamond painting that I got from Mian. I figured no diamond painting collection is complete without a peacock, right? I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, this is so far the biggest painting that I have completed. It's a 50 by 90. Um, so if you've watched my previous videos, you see my diamond painting journal is much more pretty than it is now. But so this was one of my first diamond paintings. Well, not my first, but you know, it was one of my earlier diamond paintings. This was actually my 18th started diamond painting, but it's my 49th completion. So it was before I made my, I, I kept track of other things. So yeah, I just call this Peacock. I got this from me and on AliExpress. It was $26.15. It's a 50 by 90. I ordered this back in May. So this was one of my very first orders. Um, so there were 20 DMC colors with one, well, there's 20 full, I think that there's 20 colors with one AB and one special. And I started this back in July. And then I stopped for, I don't know, whatever reason. And I only started it up again in December and yeah, so I finally finished this oh, December 21. I, I must have wrote that wrong. Um, but yeah, no, I finally finished this December 21 after I had started it back in July. So I don't know why I stopped. I've actually finished up to here I finished this much sometime when I started in July and then I think I got other diamond paintings that came in finally and then I just stopped for whatever reason and then <laughs> and then I just powered through I finished this portion in like three days so yeah um I don't even know why I stopped it's it's actually very very beautiful it sparkles a lot this diamond painting has made me question why I do square diamond paintings because yeah like if you have ever done both if you've done both squares and rounds the squares don't sparkle as much as rounds they they kind of do more of a shimmery effect and while round diamonds well at least this one was like just sparkling like crazy so yeah I don't yeah you can see like it's sparkling right here um, just depending on how the light was hitting it, this just sparkles like crazy. But yeah, it's made me question why I bother doing squares, especially since rounds are so much easier. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably still still do both because I do like both of them in different ways. But yeah, no, this is this is actually absolutely beautiful. I think the reason I stopped was this. I thought this peacock would be like this green color to you know offset the two peacocks while they actually kind of look the same color. So I think I got to this point and I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be more like there was going to be like two peacocks. One was going to be a green peacock and one was blue. And then when I did got to here, I was just like, eh, I wanted I wanted more of this color because this color is actually very beautiful. So, yeah, that was my main one of my main things about this. Is, and I think I since I did this, I got kind of sick of white. There's, this is just like pretty much all white, except there are a couple like ABs um, sprinkled in here. I'm not sure if you can tell, like it's, it's kind of weird because the ABs actually kind of make a flower and you could only see it on certain angles. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a hidden gem. So like right here is like an ABs, over here there's ABs, they're just, they're just sprinkled all around that when you look at it from one way, you see, oh, look, there's like a flower in there. And then you look at it another way and there's no flower. So yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting in that way. So yeah, no, this is absolutely beautiful. The, the tails look beautiful. The, yeah, no, I, I highly, highly recommend this kit from me and, um, what's the call if you like the peacocks because i'm this is really really beautiful so and it was relative for a 50 by 90 this was actually relatively easy to do just because there were so few colors um 
and what's it called? I ha I didn't really have any issues really other than what did I say? Three and five. So three and so there are a couple um symbols. Let's see, this was just me just doing a copy of the the legend, and even in the copy of the legend, they're not that clear. Like three and five were both dark colors with black writing. And since I've stopped using um, light pads, personal choice about the stop using light pads, you just kind of had to look at it more to make sure it was the three or the five. But uh, what's it called? And these, and it just had the one ABs, which was the whites and these really pe beautiful peacock things. These were the leftovers, the ones that kind of had miscoloring. See, I don't know if you could tell, but, and there were a couple that I had to put in the miscoloring, but I tried to sift through it and find the best ones. But yeah, no, this, this is actually absolutely beautiful. I did buy a frame that was the right size from the thrift store for $2. Um, but I'm hesitant to use the frame because I got so used to the acrylic glass frames. Um, well, it's not really glass, but acrylic covered, um, frames. And the one I got from the thrift store is like a glass, um, frame and it's heavy. So I'm contemplating even using it just because of just how heavy it is. And I'm kind of afraid to put on my wall, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, here it is, my largest peacock um, diamond painting. Well, thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.